So how many of you out there have junctions like this in your city? Let's be honest, we're all putting up our hand. Traffic is backing up as far as the eye can see and we just don't know what to do about it. Well, I've got the answers for you. We're going to do some tips that anybody can use, whether you're on console, switch, you're playing with no mods. And I'm also going to throw a few modded tips and hints in there as well and tell you what sort of roads are available if you have the DLCs that can really help in this type of situation. If you're enjoy this sort of video let me know with a like a subscription that is always appreciated if you want to see more and if you've got any ideas of this type of video you'd like to see let me know in the comments below well let's start out with this simple little junction here we've got four roads heading into each other and the traffic is horrendous what are some simple things that we can do to help this traffic flow better well one thing you could do using the built-in in-game tools is just add a traffic light to this junction there we go and that will help the traffic move ever so slightly better than it is at the moment everybody gets a turn at going but still pretty slow so how about we make use of a better road layout well if you have the mass transit dlc you will have the asymmetrical road three lane asymmetrical two plus one and one of the issues that we have here and you may have heard me talk about this quite a lot if we just delete this car here this lane is doing too many things we would like dedicated lanes for people to get around quicker so if we stick an asymmetrical road road on each of these and then we turn it around so we have the two lanes facing into the junction now we have a dedicated turning lane so let's just watch this junction now that we have dedicated turning lanes for some of the directions down here you can notice cars can go through straight on and left and at the same time other cars can turn right without being blocked so let's analyze our junction and this is something you want to be able to do because these rules can be applied differently depending on how big your junctions are and what the situation is in your city so take this road coming up here how many different choices do these cars have well some want to go left some want to go straight on and some want to go right it would be great if we could have a road for each of those choices now unless you have network extensions too this is the only asymmetrical road you will have access to but network extensions to gives you a five lane symmetrical so three plus two so we are going to just pop that one in down here it's a slightly bigger road and now you notice that we have a right a straight on and a left turning road so let's pop one of those on each side there we go so now if we keep an eye on this we're now able to have traffic turning three different directions at the same time that's if they use all the lanes of course without using any mods yes the cars do like to take one lane a lot of the time but as we can see down here they're using the right lane they're using the straight on and the left lane and every now and again we'll get somebody using the middle lane as well and that along with the traffic lights is helping things to move much smoother so upgrade to a lane definitely use the three plus two if you really don't have that one and you are stuck on vanilla or don't have uh, access to mods then you can use any of these roads here let's just change that and that will give you three lanes in and three lanes out which will give you the same effect so let's take things one step further you do have access to mods you're using the three plus two asymmetrical road while well, we would like actual dedicated turning lanes here each lane for a separate function one for left one for straight on one for right fantastic tool in traffic manager president edition i am using the latest labs version the lane arrows and if we hold control click it says separate turning lanes for entire junction so i'm going to do just this one here and if we click that there we go you can either manually change them or if we come out of that and alt click there we go that is just going to do this segment here so we can see the lanes changing there we go we now have a left turn a straight on and if we just delete this guy here a right hand turn i haven't changed the other ones yet or as you could see control click 
would just do all of them. A few cars are going to disappear because <laughs> they're getting a bit confused. But now we have dedicated turning lanes for everything. So if we just keep an eye on this for a moment, that is much, much smoother. Now we still have traffic lights in here, bog standard vanilla traffic lights. Now this again is where you can take things up another notch. So let us remove those traffic lights. You can do it using the in-game vanilla tools. I'm just going to use traffic manager, toggle the traffic lights. We are going to put in a timed traffic light. And that is a fantastic quick setup that you can use. Control click. There we go. So for those that don't know, the time traffic lights, each section has its own time to go. The timing can be adjusted. And wow, now let's just go into this mode and watch that. And look how quickly the traffic is flying through. It is not backing up. Not backing up. And that is just magical to see. Those few little upgrades. And it's really, really making a difference. So, unbelievably, yes, I'm going to say that a roundabout isn't the fix-all for everything. Oh, yes. Shock horror. That is right. But just a couple of little tools like that. And your junctions in the middle of your city can be free-flowing. So why don't we take all of this out and put in a roundabout and see what kind of difference that makes. So here we are back to our terrible four-way junction with all the traffic backing up. So you want to add a roundabout. You, of course, can just do that manually using the normal vanilla in-game tools. We are going to use Roundabout Builder. I am going to select a... Let's have a look down here. This road here, a two-lane one-way road. That is the one we're going to use. So let's just toggle Roundabout Builder on, and we're going to pop that down on there. Excellent. So now let's have a look at this roundabout and see how this works. Now the way Roundabout Builder works is you can actually set up your traffic manager, uh, give way signs and priority signs before you put down the roundabout. As you can see here, I have all those selected. I will show you what it is like without any of those set up by turning all of them off. Okay, there we go. That is a vanilla roundabout with all the giveaway signs turned off and very, very quickly, yeah, it just stops working. Well, let's just use the in-game tools here to help these guys out. We're going to go to junctions and we are going to toggle some stop signs. There we go, because that is the best that we have in vanilla instead of yield or giveaway signs. Aha, now things are starting to move again. And that is not too bad, considering that is quite a heavy traffic area. That's not a very big roundabout. It's moving, and sometimes that is the best you can hope for. And it all grinds to a halt. Ah, uh, yes, there we go. And a few cars just are going to disappear to keep things going. Now, I've just remembered that we are using Traffic Manager, but I have it set up to act as a vanilla game. Traffic despawning is turned on so what you'll notice that's happening is the traffic gets to a certain bad point then the game goes oh we can't have that and it will make a truck or two disappear and things start moving again that is the way the vanilla game works when i do my traffic fixes i tend to turn that off so every car stays there and doesn't leave. And that makes things really difficult. I'm going to put it back to vanilla mode for now. So what else can we do to help this roundabout set up? Well, as you can see, uh, with the lanes again, we've got some lanes that are being used for two things. So these lanes here are for carrying on and for coming off. It's just not great. And this middle lane isn't being used really at all. So can we change that? Can we make this roundabout better? Well, let's try a three-lane one-way road. First of all, let's try the one that is available to all players in vanilla, which is the highway road. The downside of this is uh, pedestrians can't cross over, so you will need to set up some crossings. As you can see, most cars are still sticking to the outside lane, which is a bit of a pain and maybe something that we don't want. Hmm. Not very good. So what can we do about that? So let's see if we can help this roundabout out. We are going to turn off the stop signs. Let's get rid of those. And we are going to use the traffic manager tool. And this little section here, priority signs, we are going to control shift click on the roundabout. And that is going to do two things. It's going to put in giveaway signs for all of our cars coming in. It's changed these lanes to be one for right and two for round the roundabout and now we can see people are using the different lanes and it also changes the junction restrictions if we just click on here 
this means enter a block junction. This is the junction here between this road and this road. If it's blocked, well, these cars will keep going because they're on the roundabout and we want to move them off the roundabout. The cars coming up these roads here are four roads entering the junction. They will not enter if it's blocked. We want them to stop and allow the roundabout to keep moving. And now if we look at this, we can see it's moving so well that there is barely any traffic at all around the outside. But as we said, pedestrians can't cross over this, so you will need to add pedestrian crossings. And of course, if you're using mods, there's a mod for that called the Pedestrian Bridge Builder. And there we go. Everybody has access from one side of the roads to the other. So you have your roundabout set up. How else can we help the traffic coming onto the roundabout? Well, again, this is where your asymmetrical roads will come in handy. Let's use the ones that uh, come with the Mass Transit DLC. We're going to change the road coming into the roundabout. There we go. So we now have two lanes heading in and one lane heading out, which is fine for the road coming out and that would definitely help those coming on now generally speaking you want to make sure that the lanes that are coming onto the roundabout are either equal or less to the amount of lanes that are on your roundabout so let's say you have a normal small two lane roundabout like this and we've set it up with traffic manager we have dedicated lanes but coming onto the roundabout we have three lanes and what you'll notice is cars are fighting for the lanes three lanes into two lanes doesn't go so that is something you want to keep in mind again with this example here we could just upgrade all of these to three lanes there we go and that will work much better now, I know roundabouts is a hot topic in the world of City Skyline. Some people love them, some people hate them. We are going to do a deeper dive into roundabouts in a future video. Don't forget, if you're really enjoying this deep dive into how to set up your junctions, please leave a like and subscribe as well. That is always really, really appreciated. So here we are back to normal vanilla junctions. We have the six lane road, three lanes in, three lanes out on each side. As you can see, some of the lanes are used for straight on and left. And we just have bog standard normal traffic lights, no mods. And it's going okay. It's not too bad. Things are moving but traffic is still backing up quite a lot. But how can we help this out? Well, there's quite a few cars that all they want to do is go straight over. Do they really need to go through the junction? Well, how about we have uh, what I would perhaps call a bypass lane? So here we go. You set up a bypass lane for cars that are going straight on. They can now go over the top and through, and it will work for some cars. Some cars will still like to take the lanes through here, but we can help these guys out and this is where your traffic manager mod comes in let's look at this little junction here we have two lanes for straight on and this lane is trying to go straight on and right so we can use this lane arrow tool control click in there and now we have a dedicated turning lane uh, we also want to stop cars coming and turning up there that is not the point of this lane and we'd also like to use what i call lane mathematics we have three lanes coming up here and one lane is going off so we want to downgrade this to two lanes. So again, the network extensions road, three lanes and two lanes asymmetrical will be perfect here. So let's set that up. There we go. So now this lane goes off. These two lanes go straight on. But unfortunately, this lane here is still trying to be a turning lane. Well, we can use another traffic manager tool, the lane connector. We shall select that node. I've got mine set up as Shift S, Control S is default. And there we go. We can see all the lanes. These ones go all straight on and these ones continue forward. So that is going to help that lane work much better. And then you can tell them all to enter the block junction with these two options here and they will just continue through, which is great. And then we want to do a similar thing on the other side. Thinking of our lane mathematics, we have three lanes coming down here plus another one, but this is still three lanes. So we want to change this one here. So we are again going to use that asymmetrical road three plus two, and we're going to change that one. So there's two lanes coming down here. We've still got three going into the junction, which is what we need. But now this bypass lane plus these two equal three. Now you'll notice the game automatically puts traffic lights there. So we're going to remove the traffic lights. We are then going to use our lane connectors, select that node. 
There we go. So these three lanes go straight on. These two plus that one each have their lanes, which is fantastic. And you can see cars are now flying over the top instead of coming through here. And one last thing you can do, which sometimes is worth keeping an eye on, is the speed limits of these roads. If you use bypass roads around roundabouts or things like that, sometimes the speed going over the top is not quick enough and they will still go through the middle. As you can see here, this is 80 mile an hour or 80 kilometers an hour, and this is 60. So they will use that, which is fantastic. And we just need to control click in here, Oh, we've got our dedicated turning lanes again. So that should help those cars going over the top. And you'll notice a decrease in the amount of traffic coming up here. Now, if you do what I've just said, you may notice my deliberate mistake. Because we've done lane mathematics, we've decreased this to two lanes, which means we've only got two lanes coming into this junction here. Whereas we said three lanes is best because they have three directions they can go. Left, right and straight on. Well, that's true, but remember, we are helping these guys have a bypass so they don't go straight on here. And at the minute, that lane is still set to go straight on. So we can use our lane tools here. We can pick this segment and we can say, you cannot go straight on. You can now only go left and right. And everybody coming down this road here, if they wish to go straight on, has to use the bypass. And that will help the traffic coming down here. And this is a good thing to do if you notice that one particular road coming into your junction has worse traffic than another road, then you can add a bypass to help. You can, of course, add bypasses going in multiple directions, but any more than two, if your junction's that busy, then you certainly need to look at other options. And you're getting into the realms of full-blown intersections, which we will cover in a future video. In future episodes, we'll be taking a deep dive look into roundabouts, T-junctions, intersections, and anything else that I can think of. Let me know of any ideas you have in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the other video that's on the screen as well. Thank you for watching. I will see you all soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.